Okay, hi guys! Hi! Uh, how are you doing? Uh, we just did a very funny bit to camera and the camera decided not to work, so uh, fuck you HD pro camera. Yeah, yeah fuck H you. HD fucking amateur fucking camera. <laughs> That's what you are. Um, so hi guys, uh, today is day 68 of our lockdown blog. Mm. Uh, yeah. And is day, is day, is March, no May. <laughs> it's May 27th. Uh, which, fuck me, like, I, honest to God, it, how is it the end of May now? I know every, like, every time we've started a blog for the last week, it's just been, been going like, how, how is it that date? How have we been doing this this many days? 68, we've been, we're doing this 68 days, and the end's not that close to being in sight, really. Do you know what um, that means, though, as well? What? It means after a, a couple of weeks of relative productivity and mm. making things and getting things done, uh, the Bioshock collection for Switch is turning up in the next couple of days. Oh. So that'll be me grinding to a Yeah, isn't it today that it comes out? Uh, I think it's either the 28th or the 29th. Ah. So it should be in the post tomorrow or the next oh. day, I guess. So that'll be... Yeah, usually Amazon Prime are mm. pretty good with that, but obviously with those delays and stuff, actually any Prime... Uh, Pramazon? Right, I haven't actually had that much to drink yet, but apparently I can't speak. But I couldn't Amazon speak yet. Mine. I couldn't speak yesterday in yesterday's blog either, and I hadn't had anything to drink then, so I, I maybe I just can't speak anymore. I've just realised how inexplicable my hair is. <laughs> um, this, like I think I've mentioned before, this is what happens if I wash my hair and don't dry it. But with the ad the addition of lockdown roots and having re-dyed the bits that are blue, um, uh, that's a special level of crazy looking. Hmm. I'm gonna embrace it because I have no other option. <laughs> I like it. It's a bit crazy. It's um, fun. Yeah, just a bit, bit bonkers, but all right. Not against um, it. Yeah, not against it. Good, because there'd be nothing I could do about it if you were. You could shave it off. Well, nothing reasonable I could do about it if oh, you were. Okay. I did cut my hair all off previously when I was first ill with fibro. It was, it was a really hot summer. It was 2009. Um, and I don't know if you remember the hot summer of 2009, but fuck me, it was boiling. And I had long-ish hair at the time, and I was too ill to do anything about it, so I just went, ah, just get rid of it. I cut it off to, like, that short. And I, like, rocked it, I think, but mm. um, I have kind of been coveting long hair for a while now, so, yeah, you're not shaving this off. But um, you keep asking me to cut yours, and I'm very reluctant to do so. If I had big old lustrous wavy locks like this, I would never let anyone come anywhere near me with a set of scissors. It does get in my face, so a bit. Wear, wear a hair clip. That's what I do. <laughs> I, yeah, like, I wouldn't tell people if you did that around the house. Just like a little... Yeah, I just don't want to. I know. Well, it, well it'll stop your it. hair getting... Yeah, well, I'm not cutting it for you. I will cut it for you if you really need it, but it doesn't think, look like it, yeah, it looks so well, pretty. Well, we'll leave it a little bit longer, but I, I think you should cut it before I resort to cutting it myself. Okay, if it gets to that stage, I will cut it for okay. you. Can I just maybe, like, cut off the mullety bit and then just leave it um, quite... Y well... Because this is the bit that's Maybe sort just of... cut off... But that isn't, the bit, got, that, that isn't the bit that gets the bit in my that face, no, though, no. is it? So you well, can I'm not cut cutting off, the front bit and leaving the You can cut off some of that bit. I'm happy for some of that bit to go, but you need to at least, like, trim some of this away at the sides as well, maybe. The thing is, I'm not a skilled enough hairdresser to trim it strategically. You just hack away. I don't care. Well, I can do that, but then you'll end up with really short hair. And what no, a waste! No, just hack away at some of the, some of the side bits. <laughs> just randomly hack yeah, yeah, yeah. with kitchen scissors. Yeah. Oh, well, people okay. People will understand. Yeah, people will lockdown. understand, but I'm the one that has to look at you. And if I'm the one looking at you going, I disfigured him. I spend a <laughs> I lot of time so admiring myself in mirrors. I have to look at me too. Yeah, not as much as I do, though. Even if you spent most of the day looking in mirrors, I would still see you more than you see you. You reckon? How long are you looking at me? Oh, well, all night when you sleep. <laughs> okay. No wonder you're tired in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't sleep. He thinks I sleep an extra, like, six hours longer than him but I just like when he looks like he's stirring I then settle down yeah. <laughs> that's why I have such late lions that's creepy, the only time I sleep creepy oh you don't know the half of it mate uh. 
Oh, I get up to so much weird shit. Um, so much weird shit. Yeah, so much weird shit. Um, so, yeah, hi, guys. I think we've kind of decided that we're not... We're just gonna have a silly one today. Um, we were, we had, we had plans that got slightly scuppered. Mm. Um, but when we made those plans, um, I'd sort of said before that because we'd mentioned a couple of times we were gonna sit down and we did sit down to watch um, Ignacio Lopez's lockdown stand-up uh, comedy special. Um, so I knew that I was gonna drink during that. Um, and I just sort yeah. of said beforehand, I was like, oh, I sort of, I don't want to be kind of with the thought in the back of my head that oh I've got to film a blog after this and I haven't written well, notes for the blog days, yet or any of that the last couple of days I've quite enjoyed getting into doing uh, quite searing quite, political analysis quite <laughs> politics heavy kind of vlogs but I've been getting quite into it you know giving mm. my opinion doing a little bit of research actually sounding informed like I know what I'm talking about and I've, I've sort of gone yeah it's nice in these kind of political vlogs and then today Despite having enjoyed the last couple of days, we were both a bit like, fuck it, we want to have a bit of a relax Silly. and a drink and watch this show and and just not feel like too, uh, like we have to too heavy. behave ourselves and yeah. then do this afterwards. So we thought, well, we'll get a bit drunk. And, then and we'll, we'll just, just do a silly one. silly one. But we um, haven't really got very drunk yet because our plans were kind of curtailed. Yeah, unfortunately, there was a bit of a tech issue. But actually, it might work out for any of you that weren't sort of sitting down to watch it anyway. Yeah, if anyone wasn't um, available to watch it, show. Because it's all made and it's all sort of polished and ready to rock. But um, and it was being. And it yeah. was very good, so it's well worth yeah, the time. Yeah, so I think, I think it was, an either th it was going to be in either three or four sections. And we f saw the first chunk and it was brilliant mm. um but you, i think it was being streamed out live in sections and unfortunately when it went to the sort of second section there were some tech issues and some lag and it just couldn't seem to catch up with itself uh, so unfortunately i had to sort of put a stop to it and um uh, call it a day uh, but it doesn't mean that that's just gone forever uh, thankfully because actually i was really enjoying it and and so was chris uh, so it's going to go out another night uh, probably Saturday, I think it was uh, mentioned. Saturday is also the day his quiz goes out, mm -hmm. so I don't know if he'll do it maybe directly before or uh, anyway. Yeah, we'll I'll find like a out. Late night comedy um, Instagram for the late night comedy. So when we know the exact details on when that's going out, we will let you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it will go out in its entirety. I assume it will still probably only be available for a limited amount of time. Um, so we'll find out what the deal is with that, and we'll let you know. But I can say from our maybe we probably got about like maybe. 10, 15 minutes of it, yeah. and it was really good. And it it's an funny. hour long special. It looked great. You yeah. can tell a lot of work had gone into it. Uh, it looks Boy polished. knows how to do production value, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, and, and in this time of everyone streaming everything, mm. um, you know, and I say that, I mean, look at us. You know, we're not making any great claim to production values, but, you know, when you see people streaming stand up, or like you've got, you know, even TV stuff like Graham mm. Norton, it's all people streaming from their homes, yeah. and it's people peering into their laptops or their phones. Uh, this had real like quality production values, and it was it wasn't until, yeah. until the technical issues. It was like a pleasure to just sit and watch. Yeah, uh, which it really was. And actually, it was quite nice because although mm -hmm. obviously there's no audience actually there, people piping up in the comments did sort of make you feel like oh I'm watching something with people. It is um, you do kind of have when you uh, there is a sort of things, sense of when I have occasionally dipped into watching streaming things and, and you join in with the comments. Yeah, like it's when funny. We did Cardiff Belly and you get little and you do feel people like liking your comments and stuff. You're part and it's of like, a oh, bit of community spirit. Something going of, on you. Uh, yeah. Well, community spirit, that reminds me of something that we wanted to mention in the blog a few days ago, and then it fell by the wayside. But community, there's Ooh, a table yes. read. There's an extra bonus that. community thing. So we've mentioned previously that um, we worked our way through. If you haven't watched it, the, the TV show community is fab. I love it. It's just um, done on Netflix as well. Which oh, had really? Previously yeah, where on. did we watch it? Did we watch uh, it on Prime? We watched it on all four. Ah, okay. So you can catch it, I think, still on all four, or you can catch it on Netflix. Fabulous. So it's um, easy and accessible. Yeah, it's brilliant. I loved that show. Um, it's, uh, it's It sort of took on a bit of a life of its own. It's got an amazing cast. Um, and it, uh, yeah, I think it ended up with six seasons. Um, I think the, what they did basically for this is they got all of the cast back together to do a table read of an existing episode, uh, which sort of sounds a bit sort of like, oh, well, we've already seen that episode. 
but it was beautiful because certain members of the cast after that episode have left um and so it was nice to see them sort of reunited mm. um but also it they got one they got one extra uh, uh actor in uh who is oh i can't remember his surname but pedro whatever his name is who plays the mandalorian mandalorian he's also in game of thrones um he was in as a sort of guest character um so he was reading the script sort of dry he mm. hadn't read it before and a couple of times got fits of the giggles which <laughs> is my weakness i absolutely lose my i can't help myself if somebody is corpsing i find i think that's the funniest have, thing have like i find it so um i've seen some clips of peter cook and yeah. D- deadly more and i can't i honestly it's the, i find it funnier than any like any of the constructed jokes that you've worked really hard on if somebody's just like genuinely really trying to hold it together and just help us with laughter i don't think there's anything i find funnier than that i've got a good friend i won't name a name because she'll tell me off uh but she um has a neat like she's got a weakness and her weakness is a really childish stupid weakness but she becomes absolutely helpless with anything to do with farts really yeah i don't get it because i actually don't really find farts that funny not my thing but all, not really, just no. actual farts people talking about farting people mentioning <laughs> farting people alluding to the idea that somebody might have farted she just she becomes helpless and it's hilarious because she just can't deal with a conversation about it and it's absolutely endearing it's is. so endearing oh. you haven't met her unfortunately because oh, really? okay. she lives uh she lives sort of up northish so you might be able to guess who it is from that but hopefully you guys won't um but yeah it's hilarious uh so you can just if you just want to lose her to lose her shit you just bring it up <laughs> I've never, like, also, but I don't, I can't fart in front of people. I just can't. Are you all right there, Luce? Lucy. Don't know. I um, oh. think she's fine. Just uh, just making sure that we all know that she's no, a very good right. guard dog. Um, but, yeah, I, I've yeah, never really so been one for sort of fart humour okay. and toilet humour. Um, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. But, honestly, the way she laughs about it, it's with such wide-eyed innocence that it's so sweet. <laughs> Uh, it's absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, do you have any weaknesses that you just can't help yourself when something just makes you helpless? Because mine is definitely corpsing. Just things that are really fucking funny. That's. I'm uh, just... Check the communion. I, 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 no, oh, I just I think things are funny. Me. Yeah, things are really not funny. I laugh at them. <laughs> I know. Well, obviously, I system. sometimes am helpless with laughter over things that are just funny on their I own. I can't think of But a guaranteed, just corpsing always gets me. Uh, no. I can't like I can't help like I found, even actually you know we put you put out a video that was an outtake from our makeup tutorial video which mm-hmm. is me corpsing and even if I watch that I start uncontrollably yeah. laughing I can't help, and I'm that's me I'm watching me uh, but it's just I just find it really fucking funny I, I do like that clip it makes me smile <laughs> I think it's not so much these these days it's not so much what guaranteed, is guaranteed to make me laugh the older I get and the soppier I get, the more likely it is I'll see something romantic on the television and be like, "Oh, and be like, you well are so soppy. soppy." Actually, I was you're... watching the Mindy Project today, yeah. and there's a bit in that where uh, her husband had gone away, and he was being a bit vague about when he was going to be back, and she was having a bit of a rough time, mm. and uh, she and sort of messaged him, going, "Look, can I talk to you?" And he said, "Oh, it's bad time. Can I call you back?" And she said, "No, no, I." I need to talk to you now. I'm going to call you. And she calls him up. Oh. And she hears the ring. I was going to say, he's the there, isn't he? He's there. The outside the door. And it's like, he's back. And I was like, oh, it's so sweet. She still looks so happy. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Oh. That nice. I, I pulled that move on you once. Yes, it's yeah. true. That's, ah! Sorry. I thought I'd put my foot on a dead animal. It's not. It's just a cat toy. That's fine. Yeah. That does sometimes Although, happen. That, yeah. that, 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 that ruined the move. It's troubling, isn't it? That ruined the move. I mean, it, it's troubling that putting your foot on a dead animal is not impossible in this house, is it? Oh, it's not even unlikely. <laughs> Mice, rats, birds. Yeah, at slow worms. Yeah. Slow worms is an I'm unusual not, one, but not. not it it does happen. Not that we're gross. It's like 
Our no, it just makes it sound like in. a really terrible yeah. Ed Gein we've just couple. Got, like, we've just got rats ooh. on the floor. No. Not, it's not even like we have a rat problem. They just bring them in from no. outside, don't they? I dare say this street probably has a very well-contained vermin problem. Um, they all Pop end it! Up in oh, God, bin. Pop it! Who, bless her little heart, she's stumbling around. Like, now that she's got the dressing off, Mm. Um, she can feel the leg again, uh, but it's also not reinforced with lots of padding and a splint. So now when she tries to walk on it, I think previously when she was trying to walk on it, it was, it was sort of landing on the padding and it gave her a false sense of security. But now it's off, she started walking on it and she's limping again, bless her. And I think it is actually quite uncomfortable. But even with that, last night I was lying in bed, um, still up, but sort of thinking about settling down. And we're leaving all of the upstairs doors open. Um, but just had the baby get at the top of the stairs. So she'd gone back into the old little front room because there's still a few blankets on the floor. It's a little bit, they're sort of quite cool in there and quiet. So I think she'd taken herself in there. I was like, fine, all right. And then I suddenly saw her emerge at speed, sort of going, and I thought, bless her, she's tried to stand up and she's fallen. And so I jumped out of bed to go and help. I'm like, oh, bless Pop. But then she sort of got up and did it again. And then I realised <laughs> she was chasing a big ass spider. So she was in hunting mode, even though she couldn't use one of her legs. She was going, kill it, kill it. It's been so long since I've murdered anything. Mm-hmm. Um, so then she, and it was quite like, I'm, I don't like spiders. Uh, I'm not a fan, but I'm better at handling them than you are, I think is fair to say. Yes. So uh, usually, though, if they're like in the bath or on a wall, um, I never kill anything. I'd be a terrible vegan if I like had an exemption clause for spiders. That's shitty. So I'm like, no, 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 you catch them and you put them out. Um, but this spider was quite a big. It wasn't the biggest I've seen, but it was one of the quite Would big. Would be weirdest spiders for the only meat you ate. Oh, I wouldn't eat it, but you don't. Vegan, uh, right? Veganism isn't just about what you eat. It's about what what suffers at your yes hands. similarly she won't wear a jacket made out of spiders <laughs> i won't not not even if you paid me mate she won't she won't boil spider eggs for her breakfast none of it no none no. of that won't drink spider milk Ugh. Ugh. spiders produce milk no they're not mammals you <laughs> weirdo <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, so this spider, though, um, quite rightly, was running away from... Because she sort of stopped and was looking at something. And then I realised she wasn't in distress. She was hunting. Mm. And I was like, oh, what is it? And then I saw what she was after. But we've got this big bag that, are like... Because we've moved... Oh, God. Because we've moved emptied rooms and moved rooms around and had different holding cells for poor old Poppet. We've got big piles of junk in rooms where they're not supposed to be. So there's this big, you know, those big blue Ikea bags... There's one of those that's full of uh, clothes mm. that need to be hung up, but we couldn't get to the wardrobe in the room that we need to hang them in. But this spider climbed up the side of this, which is not a flat surface, so I can't do the, like, put a glass on it and then, like, shove something under the glass to then catch the thing and take it away. So I was like, oh, there isn't, like, a... So if I try and get it, it's, it, it might come out and just come at my face, which is not what they're going to do, is it, really? But that's what, when you're trying to catch a spider, you just imagine it going just up into your face. Um, but thankfully, I pulled it off. But yeah, I came out, I was like, Chris, uh, I need help, but you're not going to like it. <laughs> and he just said, what, what? I was like, might, might be a spider. Um... I need a glass. But I also didn't want to take my eyes off the spider because it was on the edge of all this laundry and it was going to go... If it went in the bag, lost that forever then. And then I'm going to have to just not tell Chris that it's in there, basically. <laughs> but Poppet was Poppet was alert. She was watching. So I couldn't like take my eyes off the spider, but I needed a uh, receptor. Uh, me, Receptacle, sorry. that's the word. Um, yeah, he does keep burping. He burped right in my face earlier. He's lost all social graces. My snatcher's gold for you. <laughs> Is that you as your social influencer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we'll burp right in your girlfriend's face. <laughs> that's just gold. Mm. <laughs> she won't thank you for it. That's just gold. <laughs> You're right, she I won't. I 
did yeah i've done more social media yeah influencing. yeah you have then i sp- uh, sponsor boosted a, a, I, I boosted a sponsored post did a sponsored post or a boosted post whatever you call it on facebook advertising whole grain mustard yeah glamorous. buy some whole grain mustard guys you can get it in shops I, uh, <laughs> yep. yeah i like i'm really enjoying this narrative to be honest <laughs> it is entirely stupid but i like it I... um yeah i'm all for it i you didn't spend a lot i hope uh, no, five, five pounds <laughs> five this pounds. time. Five pounds. It was um, five pounds last time, I think, yeah, wasn't I, it? Oh, no, no, it was, it was £10. five pounds on the sardine unboxing video oh. and uh, ten pounds on the sardine sponsored ad. So I think I'm going to have to draw a line under sponsored ads for a while because <laughs> right. it's becoming an expensive uh, habit. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, because usually people do those because they generate money. So it's, you speculate to accumulate. So, like, for example, if I've got an offer going on at the escape rooms, I'll sponsor a post, but I will be able to then see how many additional sales I get off of the back of that post. Or people might so be I'll be like, it. oh, well, that's worth it. So yeah. I've spent it quid, but I made, even if I just make like a few sales, I've covered the cost and it's worth it. And it's just also put getting into the like uh, collective consciousness. You are just flogging other people's products for no money i'm just doing it for a laugh i know and, and, and i like it i'm on it and i'm it's more funny to me yeah. if i commit money to it and actually do it like, and make <laughs> is it, it literally the fact that it says sponsored, it says sponsored at the top it. yeah if no, I, do, I can just post a photo of me holding some sardines on facebook that's one thing but because it says sponsored ads and like I know that that will appear on other people's facebook that will appear on the facebook of strangers <laughs> just who don't know me going why is that why am I being advertised whole grain mustard? Who's, the, who's this prick? Who's this, who's this prick telling me to eat whole grain mustard? What? That is, oh, that is really funny to me. There are, oh never God, seen... there are people that um, live nearby that I really hope recognise your face. We're well, neighbours of ours. Yeah, going, and then get one of these sponsored ads. Sponsored ads. <laughs> and they're like, what is this dick like, trying to get me to buy whole grain mustard for? <laughs> Like people who know you but aren't like friendly with you and just and know who you are. Who are not friendly with me. <laughs> You're um, not friendly with them, are you? No, that is true. I, I, but, I, um, I won't go into any of the details, uh, but I will say your phrase that I Victor Meldrewed it, didn't I? Yeah, but, essentially, I'm I'm the Victor Meldrew of the situation, which is to say that I am right, uh, but I uh, go about it the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, misjudged how to handle <laughs> the situation. Even though I am right, <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's what happened there. And yeah. I, yeah, I, I do. I feel increasingly like I'm a character actor of a sitcom. Yeah. Um, that's because I'm ever so funny all of the I time. Think, uh, yeah, I, I, but I think I don't know. I think because I'm becoming increasingly curmudgeonly and grumpy and just and not. Did you notice that just, just not knowing? Well. Nodding, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are. But, <laughs> Also, well, this is a concern of mine, though, and this is a separate issue, because the thing that we were alluding to, uh, which is tantalising for people, I imagine, but we won't go into it. We're not going to go into it. We're not going to go into it. But um, that was a situation... Message us privately if you actually know us. Yeah. That was a situation where I was right, (laughs) but I respond... I dealt with it badly. But there are situations lately where I do increasingly feel like I'm interacting... Did I tell you not to do that? Yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway, as you were. Anyway, so. <laughs> there, every recently when I've been interacting with people in the real world outside of the house, and obviously. Why are you doing of, that? It's not allowed. Well, here's the th- that's the thing. I don't want to. <laughs> really don't want to. <laughs> and it's very infrequent. It's when I make a trip up to the shop that is less than five minutes walk up the road to get essential supplies. Or when I take the dog for a walk in the woods, which is my daily exercise, and the dog needs it. Uh, to be honest, if the dog wasn't here, I I'd imagine doing, I'd largely. Still be doing it. You reckon? St- yeah, I think you'd still be. Go- I must be annoying you enough to want to go no, out for an hour. No, honestly, I, I would. <laughs> m- I think I'd forego any daily exercise and just stay at home and read comic books. Ah, uh, maybe I'd be going I, out for an hour. Yeah, maybe you'd be going out for an hour. <laughs> Maybe I might look forward to your dog walk, yeah. so I'm like, ah. Oh. Maybe I'd drive you away. <laughs> no, I, mean, I doubt it. I've literally space. never been somebody who goes walking anyway. We've got like, enough space in the house, though, that we're not on top of each other anyway. Again, how could you make us sound more middle class? It makes it sound like we've got a sprawling no, mansion. We but do I, not. No, we don't have but a sprawling mansion. there's only two mansion, of us. But it's not. And there's more than two rooms. It's not a studio apartment. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, we're not on top of each other. We're, we, it is a, it's not a big house, but it is 
a house. There is an upstairs <laughs> and a downstairs. That is enough for two people to not be on top of each other, I think. Mm. Um, I don't know. It depends on how bad my mood is. But, um, but like, I... So, I when I am out in the world, I feel like... Like, the other day, I was walking the dog, and I was walking home from from my walk with the dog, and to get home, I had to come down this road, and there were people stood opposite each other on the edge of the pavement hmm. on opposite sides of the road. Right. You know, and, and not kind of like staggered or anything, like literally opposite and right on the edge of the pavement. So you talking can't to go each around other. behind them. I can't go around behind them because that's not two metres. So I have to walk down the middle of the... They make, More they, people are shouting across the road. Yeah, they make no effort. Projecting their breath. Exactly. Exactly. And I don't feel like they... I, even walking down the middle of the road with the dog, which you shouldn't have to do, I, I'm not sure I was the requisite kind of Richard Osman away from either one of them, really. Is that the, and then, is that the term? Yeah, you need be to be at one, least a Richard Osman away. At least three fridges or one Richard Osman away from anyone. And, and What I does Richard Osman do? Oh, he <laughs> weeps openly in the streets. <laughs> but you... Um, I don't know, I'm not sure I was far enough away from them, even with it. But right. they saw me, you know, I'm there. And they make no effort to move or social distance. They're social distance, they're going, oh, I'm talking to my mate over there. We're staying the distance, we're doing the right thing. But you can they, go fuck yourself. Exactly. <laughs> and and, I, and I start, my blood starts to boil, and I, feel, and I feel like, am I, is it me? Am I being an uptight fucking prick about this? Am I being like the old, I feel like I'm the old woman who's like twitching the curtain, going, oh, those boys have let their football on my grass. Like, except that, Football on grass doesn't matter. Just let it go. It's okay. It doesn't. I don't care. Mm. This is about not wanting to catch an illness that could make me quite sick, yeah. or bring it home to you and make you quite sick, or pass it on, you know, to anyone else when the lockdown eases. Uh, hey, Babs, I'm with you. And, um, um, but I, I feel, don't think that makes you curmudgeonly. No, but it makes me feel like I'm being forced in this position of feeling like an uptight prick about the situation. Yeah, and I don't think it's, 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 it sort of forces you to potentially right, be confrontational like being... when you're not really a confrontational, certainly not face to face, sort of like, go on then, mate, move back or anything. Like I like I would struggle to sort of if somebody's getting in my business, I'm just gonna keep stepping back. Uh, mm. that's 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 my method of getting out of confrontation is to run away. Actually that reminds me of a <laughs> That reminds me of a big conflict I had early on in uni. It was my first week in uni, and one of the girls from upstairs, because uh, there were like three flats of six people in like little blocks, and one of the girls from upstairs, um, she uh, was like proper, like proper landing. She mm. proper from landing, she was, mate. Uh, and she was a bit like, uh, I, like I, I, I found her a bit scary, to be honest. She was quite um, bolshy. Uh, and we were all sort of drinking in my living room downstairs in my flat and I don't know how it happened because we were all sort of chatting and we, she ended up saying offhand like quietly like as an offhand comment that Wales isn't a country and I was just like uh, uh, excuse me no hang on because I was the only Welsh person there everybody else is English and I was just like yeah but it, it, it is though and I didn't go into it like Hang on a minute, what do you say, mate? I just was like, no, but it is, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm from there. Mm. Um, but weirdly, it escalated really quickly, and everybody else was like, it was hilarious. I wish somebody had filmed this, because, it, like, as it, like, it got quite heated, and we were both shouting at each other. And then she stood up, because I was already stood standing up, because I was, like, leaning on a thing, and we were all sort of there. And so she stood up out of her chair, and came right up in my face, and she just went... What are you going to do about it? And I went, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> and left. I just walked out of the room and went to my room and shut it and locked it because I couldn't hack it. Uh, and then about half an hour later, I got a knock on the door and it was her. And she just went, I've been told that I've been a knob. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else is sort of like it had all died down and everybody else had gone to bed and then me and her ended up drinking till about four in the morning and we were like quite firm friends after that because I think like that's the way you get through to my heart is like you might be a dick but then if you admit you've been a dick I will forgive everything and love you forever I, <laughs> I've certainly learned in the last year and a bit that if I admit when I've been a dick that is, that is good good uh, tactics yeah <laughs> 
say, I hope I do too when I've been a dick. Yeah, but yeah, I think I think, either of us has, I think it's has kind often of been a, a dick to either. No, to, I think I think we're we're pretty good to each other yeah. actually. But yeah, I think it's a good tactic. Like people doubling down when they were in the wrong. Like it only gets people's backs up further. Mm. I think admitting, oh yeah, I fucked that up. Like sorry, I was being a dick. Uh, is basically the best way to go. Um. So all oh, right. Uh, oh, there was a couple of th- other things that I wanted to talk about today that just would be silly, but we're at like 29 minutes, but I, wish, I, I wish, like, Can do I you have anything one? that you don't, de- yeah, kind of, well, there was one that I think that we should mention. I, I saw my mum today at social distance. She was dropping some shopping into us, having been to the shop. Uh, so I left it at a proper distance and, uh, we had a chat through a window. Uh, and, uh, she was, she watches the blog, so she'll be watching this. So this is partly to you, mum. Uh, no, but she said, I was sort of chatting and she just went your language ellie it's, t- oh, yeah, it's terrible what do chris's family make of it like they mm. must think he's got himself with the right potty mouth and i was like well essentially my answer to that was is what it is i said i don't swear in front of my parents and i still don't um I think my my mum has sworn in front, not at me, but in front of me, a few times since lockdown has started. And I think she, I think I'm leading her astray. Well, I think she watches this and now gets a bit sweary when she's chatting to me. But I don't swear. I wouldn't swear in front of my parents. I wouldn't swear in front of my niece. I wouldn't swear in front of my grand. But I am a very sweary person. Well, your um, mum lives around the corner, doesn't yeah. she? And so she comes around here and drops off shopping occasionally for us. Mm. And we do have like a socially distanced chat through a window. Um, and she, like the other day, she mentioned that you got this new necklace that says fuck the Tories, Mm -hmm. and, um, and your friends all have, uh, similar, not all of your friends, but uh, uh, three of your friends, they've all got necklaces that say fuck something, fuck the patriarchy, fuck whatever, and I I can't remember what you said, but I was Kind of like Captain Planet, you know, like with our powers combined, we are <laughs> well, Captain Fuck. Well, Cap can't use that. <laughs> we were the um, Fab Four of Fucks. And I did, um, I, it, you know, it, it was in a conversation where the word fuck had already been used quite a lot because the necklace says fuck on it, and you were yeah. talking about all the different necklaces that all say fuck. Yeah. But I did feel like... You had to say F for... I said, no, I, I said Captain Fuck, but then I did feel a bit bad about saying Captain Fuck in front of your <laughs> mum. <laughs> I'd set the precedent. It was uh, okay. Because that's a nickname that's just for us. <laughs> um, I, um, oh, I'm going to call you that at the most inappropriate moments and it's going to make me laugh. I'm all for it. But, <laughs> um, I, um, but yeah, I, I mean, my parents, I don't... I swear on this. Yeah. I, I know, you don't swear in front of your parents, and no, I, don't I don't swear in front of my parents. parents. Well, I think I have occasionally a swear has slipped out. And you immediately go, oh, sorry. Because I'm quite. No, well, I don't anymore, but I oh, try I, do. I try to avoid swearing around my or parents. Or if I'm about to swear, I'll sort of say, excuse the language, but. Then, but... It's this weird thing where, like, I will try not to swear in front of my parents, but I am aware that they watch stuff that I put online, yeah. in which I swear, uh, and I do not care. Like, I. I Fuck think it. I, it's a respect you know. thing, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah, I guess, like, I know that they don't... I don't know if my dad particularly minds, but I know that my mum doesn't like bad language, so I don't use bad language in front of my mum. But all of my friends will attest to the fact that I am a potty mouth. I don't think I used to be that bad. I think I got worse in university, but actually living in London did it... Like, Londoners right. swear oh, more, London, than any, <laughs> more than any group of people I have ever known... Aussies swear quite a lot, actually. Like, I did notice when I was in Oz, but I was with backpackers in Oz, so they don't, like, they, they might just be a sweary group of people, backpackers. Um, but yeah, Londoners, filth, filthy mouths. I was probably one of the least sweary. Um, but yeah, I do swear a lot. So if anybody, well, if you've got to day 68 of the blog yeah. and you're finding my swearing a bit much, it's not going to change. But so I do like apologise. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it just I, it just amused me that my mum called me out on it. And it was, but when she did call me out on it, I did for a moment. I was like, oh no, what if people think I'm swearing too much? And I was like, well, they probably won't watch then. <laughs> yeah, too late. <laughs> Sorry. We, uh, uh, yeah. I swear a lot. Sorry, guys. 
not sorry sure. actually I'm sorry mum because I know you watch this and actually Jeremy I know you watch this and I would never swear like this in front of you that's that's Chris's dad for people she who don't know she swear liberally in front of my mum I would no, not no qualms your gran however yeah <laughs> no I would not but uh, yeah no I just don't think any of the rest of your family watch this as far as I know but uh, no. I don't know um but yeah, no, I, it's, you can moderate your language to suit the people you're around. And I am talking to you guys like I would talk to my friends, because I, you probably are. I modulated my language. I thought better of doing a Did swear. Did I say modulate or moderate? I meant moderate. Oh, I, I moderated my language a, oh. a minute ago. I thought of doing a swear and I didn't, but I'll tell you about that off air. Okay. Because we are now at 34, 34 minutes. minutes. Bloody hell. Right. Like Fuck. and subscribe, guys. There's no shame in it. <laughs> no shame, no in, it shame at all. in it at all.